All right. And Kelly, I think we are live, sister. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This is Ontarian Hawkins here, the passive income guru, and have another special treat for you. Another case study. It's been a long time since I did a case study, but I want to bring out one of you want to get something special today. So make sure that you that you take some notes. And P.S. And by the way, if you can hear me loud and clear, I just want to make sure my audio is coming in. Go ahead and hit that like button. I would really appreciate that. And we'll get this show on the road. We'll get this show on the road here. For those of you who are tuning in, all right, Lynn, my mother-in-law. Thank you, Lynn. Appreciate that like. Appreciate that like. All right, folks. Again, my name Ontario is Ontario Hawkins, the passive income guru. Good afternoon to you from Oklahoma. And I have a special guest today that is going to really, really excite you, all right? So Kelly Bowden, Kelly, are you there? Hey, Ontarian. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. All right. So Kelly, um, I'm not going to spoil it for everybody, but we just let, let you tell the story. The title, people see the title and they, they probably want to know how, how have you made Twenty thousand dollars in your first month with the Funnel XRI system. But before I do that, before we go into that, tell everybody about yourself, where you're from, and how this all came about. How did you come? How did you come on the internet? You know, let everybody know where you come from. Yeah, so we'll just go ahead and get into a little bit of that backstory. Um, so my name is Kelly. Um, I have been online for about two years now. Um, and I really started picking up some progress after about three months, just uh, getting some quality training and then finally taking action. I'm um, seeing some income flow in, um, then taking more action. Um, and unlike a nine to five job, you know, whenever you're online, there is no limits. Um, and it's tied to what you do and the actions that you take. So you take more action, then your income goes up. And so um, I actually was able to quit my job after being online for like six months. Hmm. Um, and I'll go ahead and give you a little bit of my backstory on some past jobs that I had. And then we'll fast forward a little bit to when I got involved with Funnel X ROI, which is um, the number one um, best income producing system out there right now. Um, so to, to give you a little bit of the backstory of where I came from. Um, so I've had two main jobs in, in my life. Um, I'm actually almost 27 years old. Um, and during my early 20s was pretty grueling. Um, and I really, and I'm sure a lot of you can relate to these feelings. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of hope for my future. I had dropped out of college a couple times because um, I'm one of those personality types. I have a hard time making myself do something that I really don't like. Um, I didn't have a lot of interest in a lot of the majors in college. So I just could not make myself go with it and then chain myself to, you know, 40 plus years of employment that I'm not enthused about. So I kept dropping out. Um, and my first job was a call center worker. Um, and I got started with that when I was like 19 years old. And I worked at call centers on and off till I was like 22. Um, and that's what I did with that first job. Um, and any of you that have a call center background of tech support or customer Service support, um, that can be pretty grueling because, you know, you're talking all day. Um, and since it's a minimum wage job, you have like no time off, you know, no cushy vacations where you're off a week and then off another week during the year. None of that. You're lucky to have off Chris Christmas Day. Um, and as far as breaks, you're policed about going to the bathroom. You know, you better be sitting there and holding it. Um, and <laughs> yeah, so breaks are minimal. Um, and basically it's just a very controlled environment. Customers are, are very rude. You're getting chewed out by customers day in and day out. They're angry. You can't say anything back to them. I'm having to resolve their problems. Um, bosses treat you very expendable. I'm in a call center. You're basically just a warm body. Um, and I'm sure that, that you guys know all too well about how you're not appreciated at all in most lower wage job. You know, I'm not talking about those of you who might be an engineer or something like that, but whenever you're at minimum wage, you're not really respected by your customers. You're not respected by your bosses. Um, there's also something called metrics. 
that's where you have to resolve the call as fast as possible while getting the problem solved. So if you have a problem that keeps you on the phone for 30 minutes, well, you're going to be verbally abused by it, by, by your boss. Mm. Um, you know, even if that's what it took to solve the problem. So it's just your heads on the chopping block nonstop. It's very high pressure. Um, there was drug use among colleagues because it's just so depressing and dead end. Um, so that really, really sucks. So after a couple of years of that, and we'll go ahead and fast forward a little bit. So after a couple of years of that, um, that's whenever I became a truck driver. I was just desperately looking for things to uh, get me out of the call center position um, while not having to be like a pizza driver. Um, and I'm also not the kind of girl that can do something like welding or whatever like that. So I was looking into my options. Um, and then I saw the idea of becoming a team truck driver. Um, because I just did not have the courage to go out there on the road myself. So I convinced my husband to get his truck driving license with me. Um, and we got our CDL class B together. Um, and he was just not too enthused about the whole idea. But I just said, I'm so depressed being at this call center. I really need to change my life. Um, and you can actually make some good money as a truck driver, guys, especially running team. And so um, let's speed up a little bit. I got hired by FedEx Custom Critical. Okay. FedEx custom critical. Mm -hmm. And then we went over the road for like four weeks at a time. And now I'm going to briefly summarize the truck driving experience to you guys. Well, let's just say a week or two on the road had me wanting to go back to the call center. Wow. Um, it had me grateful for what I wanted because if, if I think that was grueling having to sit in a desk, well, in the truck, you, you live in the truck, you know, you live there in your little truck bed. Um, they don't really even want you to stop to stock up on food like at Walmart. They want you to just uh, eat at the truck stops. And that's why you see so many unhealthy truckers and everything. It's just really a road to the bottom faster than you wouldn't believe. Sleeping, um, whenever you run team. Now, the first thing that I need to tell you about running team as a truck driver is the truck is in motion 24 hours a day, seven days a week until you drop the next load. Then they immediately give you another load. They they don't care if, if you say, I'm falling asleep behind the wheel. I need to have just a couple hours to sleep, then give me another load. They don't care about that. It's one load to the next load. Bam, 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 one after another. Um, and you also have to learn how to sleep in the truck. This for me was like one of the worst parts, y'all. You have to sleep in the rolling truck. And I had that uh, anxiety and stress whenever Jonathan, my husband, was driving because he was like falling asleep nonstop too. And I was too scared to sleep back there thinking if I fall asleep, then I might never wake up again because he'll be mm. driving us off, off a cliff asleep behind the wheel. So um, I'm sure you guys are getting a little taste of all of these terrible, depressing, grueling feelings that I had then as a truck driver, y'all. And this is as dark as I'm gonna get, but there were times um, when I was speeding down the West Virginia mountains because also now we have to talk oh, about them. Yeah. Uh, because also, um, we have to talk about the maintenance of the truck. Now, y'all could guess, a lot of the owners, they're just there for max profit. They don't want to maintain their equipment. Um, and I, this was a contractor scenario where I was hired as a contractor by the owner operator, the person who owned the truck. Mm -hmm. And he just blamed us for his brakes not working, telling me, I mean, well, you're a young lady. I wouldn't expect you to know how to use the air brakes even though I, I was following the instructions, I was doing nothing wrong. I mean, instead of fixing his brakes, he just blamed it on us. And so there were many instances where I lost the use of my brakes going through the hills of Utah and the hills of West Virginia. Um, and then there were, cause I was a night driver because I'm better at staying awake than my husband. And I had some thoughts like at 3 a.m. when my brakes were going out down the hill, I'm just like, what does my life have to offer for me anyway? Um, mm. I, I, I don't see a light at the end of the tub tunnel. Why don't I just go ahead and just go off this mountain? I had those, those thoughts so often. That was, your, that was your thought process at the time. Yes. Yes. It just felt, um, you guys know what the cycle of poverty is like. It, it can feel like there is no end. Um, then so, um, to stop boring you guys with more of the truck stories, I'm sure you can see now how repetitive it is. It's basically just falling asleep behind the wheel. Um, getting bullied by the workers who are paging you on your equipment in there about the load, um, having to hold your pee, can't stop, having to eat at truck stops. That's basically just the cycle and you stay out for four to six weeks. Um, and I'm not going to go into the verbal abuse from the company themselves 
thinking that we are robots and we have to just keep going and everything. But so we'll speed up a little bit. Um, I, we basically only lasted in that for about four months. I just, my body just couldn't take it. Um, because with team, you can, you have to sleep in the truck. As I said, whenever you're solo, you get to actually sleep a little bit in the truck because the truck stops at night, but this was 24 seven. Um, and I just couldn't take it. So after four months we quit, um, we had a decent amount of money, but yeah, just couldn't keep, keep it up. Then went back to the call center. So by now I was about 23 years old. Um, and then I worked at a call center again for like two more years, mm. still pretty depressed still feeling like my life wasn't really going anywhere, but at the same time, knowing that I couldn't handle something like a truck driver. So I basically reached another breaking point whenever I was 25. Um, I basically noticed that um, I flushed my early twenties away um, and that it's going to continue being that way. And I will live in the cycle of poverty for the rest of my life if I do not make a change. So whenever I was 25, I got involved and uh, well, I actually tried to make money online on and off since I was 18. Um, and half of it was my fault. I was still lazy and I was not ready to devote myself. And then half of it was the fault of um, in the past, the training to make money online was not very good. I um, mean, there was a lot of people out there who wouldn't help you. Um, and the training wasn't very good. Um, so I partly blame it on me and partly blame it on uh, some of the programs were not very good. Um, but then whenever I was 25, um, I got involved in a make money online program that actually had a lot of people showing that they were making money. Um, and the, the training was really good. It got me on my feet. Um, and then I basically just said to myself, this is my last try. If I don't make money with this, um, I'm just going to force myself to go to college. This is my last try making money online. And guys, I also want to say that, that I lost $6,000 before I started making money. I lost $6,000 over a period of like six years while I tried. Um, so basically, I threw myself into to the training um, and I followed everything that the training said to do. So what's the big difference here? I, I had quality training um, and I decided that I was going to devote myself and I'm ready to take action um, and actually stick with it day in and day out and make it happen. Um, and then within the first week, I made my first commission. Um, because I followed the training and I was taking action. I was getting leads. I was getting leads to my website and just doing the math. You know, if you're taking action and you're getting leads, it's inevitable that you're actually going to make money. So I got some commissions flowing in. I was overjoyed. Um, I'm sure a lot of you people know this, but it really feels like Christmas whenever you look at your email and you just see all these commissions flowing in and you made those commissions sitting in your bathrobe with a cup of coffee. Um, so we'll fast forward a little bit more. Um, and I actually quit my job within like six months of getting started with that first make money online program. Um, at the time I was only making about $450 a week at the call center. Um, because like we mentioned, um, at a call center, you don't make much money. You make a little bit more than minimum wage and that's it. Um, so, um, it didn't take me much in much needed income to match what I was making at my job. And then I quit once I was making like at least $500 a week within six months, I quit my job um, and haven't looked back. Um, and I basically just kept doing what I was doing. Um, I devoted myself to it. Um, I followed a routine at least five days per week of marketing, getting eyeballs on my link, getting myself out there. And that's pretty much the core of what I followed. Um, and then I added to my wealth portfolio other business opportunities to it. Um, and I just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat with each one. Um, so now we'll go ahead and, because I have been talking for quite a while about no, the backstory. This, this is good. Keep going. You, you, yeah. you, you're doing good. Yeah. Um, and, and my very first Make Money Online program was um, an instant commission thing with no residual income, no other streams of income or anything. Um, and so I finally realized, I was just like, yeah, this is great. But I just feel like that there could be more. Um, and then I started seeing that there were, were businesses that give you weekly residual income, monthly residual income, um, bonuses based on your team's work, um, because I was also taking a lot of time to train my team, train my people and help them, help them get their first couple of commissions. Um, and with what I was currently doing, you know, I didn't get any kind of payoff or financial reward for all of that because it was just one and done, you know, someone pays you. Um, and then it's one and done. So I knew that I needed some uh, systems, part of my wealth portfolio 
to uh, actually get me some long-term income, some residual income, um, some bonuses that I get as my reward from, you know, helping people. And then when they make, make money, then I get a little bit more, more money too. So, you know, that's really the making of a long-term system um, and, and, and how you can really make life-changing income, um, but have it going for the long-term, not, not just a one and done. So um, I got involved in a, in a few other things that were a little bit better. Um, so we'll go ahead now and talk about um, Funnel X ROI, which is the name of uh, the um, system or program that both me and Ontario both really, really like um, and have been doing really well with. Um, you guys may know both me and Ontarian reg regularly show how many winners that we have right now with Funnel X ROI. Um, and I'll just go ahead and say this, y'all. In my two years of actually doing this and being successful, this is the first, di first digital business that I've got involved with that meets all the qualifications of what I wanted. Um, for, for, you know, long-term in income generation and the very first business that has generated these huge, really big, like 500 to $2,000 commissions for me and just random upgrades and bonuses flowing in day and night. This is my very first time experiencing that. Um, and the hope and security and gratefulness that I feel now on a daily basis, thanks to Funnel X ROI, you know, those, those are feelings that um, I'm sure Ontarian can, can relate to. And those are feelings that um, all of us deserve to have. Um, we all deserve to be able to have these good things happening to us as a result of, you know, putting in work um, and following the training. Um, so Funnel X ROI is the first thing that I've been getting these bigger commissions. I um, mean, the crazy thing is, y'all, one, one thing that I want to throw out, I'm getting these bigger commissions and I'm not really doing anything different mark marketing wise and work wise. Right. I'm I'm not putting in more hours of work. Um, I'm I'm not doing any kind of secret strategy. Um, I'm not using any um, secret traffic source. And that's one thing that I want to take a moment to tell you guys. You know, a lot of people are looking for this magic pot of gold as far as traffic <laughs> sources. A lot of people are looking yeah. for this magic traffic or magic leads. And let me just go ahead and tell y'all something. Leads are leads, you know, people are people. Um, the yeah. prospect pool to make money online or have financial freedom is massive, massive. This is one of the biggest niches in the world. And these are all just people, you know. Um, so there really is no just super secret magic traffic source. It's all about just getting eyeballs to your funnel. And what I like about Funnel X ROI is um, also whenever you get traffic and you're converting those leads into um, sales, one, one thing you really need to keep in mind is, uh, you know, you have to have something that's very desirable and will convert um, and does the selling and telling for you because some people know how to get leads and get leads, but they don't really have, you know, a good product or a good business. Well, Funnel X ROI is amazing. Um, and I firmly believe that that is why I'm all of a sudden getting these giant commissions and I haven't before, and that's just because of the quality, the quantity inside of Funnel X. Um, so we we have five income streams in there. I mean, I really like that David, um, the creator of Funnel X ROI. He does the telling and selling and explaining for us inside of Funnel job, X. Yes, yes, he does an excellent <laughs> job. Um, he he basically does everything that um I. And not that great at, and a lot of you can probably relate to as far as sales psychology, um, explaining the business without being pushy. Um, and at the same time, he completely spells out the benefits of upgrading within the different income streams to your leads. He educates them on the, on that. He, he tells them the value on, on all of that. And that's going to make you more money at the end of the day. So David does all that stuff. So we don't have to. Um, and that's really what drew me in. Like whenever I first created my free account and went through each of the step-by-step -step videos and lessons made by David, my very first thought was, wow, he really has his bases covered. He really knows how to explain things. This is so step-by-step. -step. No one is going to be lost on any of this unless they're just not watching the videos. Right. Um, and so that was pretty much my thought process whenever I was reviewing this funnel for the first time. Um, there's also emails done for you and everything. Um, so whenever I saw all of this combined, plus the five income streams, all the different ways we get paid, the upfront commissions, the residual income, 
I just knew this was something that I had to be a part of. Um, and I'll go ahead and tell y'all, I actually started, I believe, at the 250 level. And within two weeks, well, maybe even shorter than that, I had lost a couple of commissions. Um, now, I'm not trying to scare y'all saying that y'all are going to lose commissions, but I'm just letting you know also um, some of the uh, ways behind the big bucks, the really big paydays, the thousand plus dollar days. It's because these people getting that are, have leveraged themselves to be in a position to, to get that. Um, so people coming in, you know, at the 2000 level inside of the first income stream inside of Funnel X, you know, and the upgrades through the system, that's what's going to get you the big paydays. That's how you get those big, big commissions. You have to play big in order to win big. You don't play small and just barely get your toes wet in the pool and then get this reward. You have to dive in. Okay. Um, and my one mistake, if I can go back, I'm, I would have just went all in from the get go y'all. I mean, really, I would have went in at the 2000 level and some of the other upgrades in the system from the get go because I actually lost like three or four commissions through the different system that passed up to Ontarian. Um, I lost those because, you know, um, I didn't take it seriously from the get go. So if I can go back, I would have just went ahead and upgraded. Of course, you know, just get in where where you fit in. But mm -hmm. yeah, so so we'll speed up a little bit. So I started getting traffic. Um, with solo ads, paid traffic. Um, so for those of you that don't have a lot of time on your hands, paid traffic's probably going to be your your best bet with with solo ads, right. um, or voicemail drops, text blasts, and you're you're given training on all of that. David has a very detailed 15 minute training teaching you exactly how he gets paid traffic. Um, and that's how I get my paid traffic too. Um, so that's that's really quality. You're you're going to be told everything you need to know as far as that. But what's, I mean, the, I just but what's the best traffic source, Kelly? I need the best traffic source that you have. <laughs> and I'm being, yeah. I'm being facetious, by the way. <laughs> I get asked that a lot. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, I get asked that a lot, too. And that just goes back. And, and I used to kind of go along with it with people, thinking that I can convert those people, you know, into paid members. But I've just learned, you know, um, there's, there's really just nothing that you can do if someone's in the magic pot of gold gold at the end of the rainbow mindset. Um, I just tell everybody, you know, leads are leads, whether you're getting them from Facebook, whether you're getting them from solo ads, whether you're getting them from YouTube or Instagram, the best thing is just to get yourself out there because yeah. the one thing that guarantees failure is not getting eyeballs on your link. Okay. The more people that you have coming to your link, the more income that, that you will make. Um, but I'll go ahead and say me personally, I do solo ads is my main paid traffic. Um, and I'm active on Facebook and YouTube and I have a blog. Um, so that's all I do. Those are the couple simple things that I do. Um, and that's what I've done. Yeah, that, that has gotten me my massive results here in, in two years. Um, so, so that's all I do. Um, and one thing that I want to say about Funnel X too is what I love about Funnel X ROI, because um, some people have asked me, they're like five income streams. Well, that's a lot of links to keep up with. Um, how am I going to advertise five links? Okay, well, um, it's all advertised for you inside of one link. Mm -hmm. And you're also going to be given about seven, eight, or nine different high converting lead capture pages. Um, and that captures your, your email from your leads. And then what do you think is going to happen with that? They're then going to start getting done for you emails from David doing the selling and telling for you. The emails are coded to you with your links. They're going to start getting those one to even more than once per day then indefinitely until they become a paid member. So all that is done through that one link, your one Funnel X link sells all five of the income streams. And I tell everybody, and I'm 100% honest when I say this, really all I do is I get people to my link, whether it's paid traffic, I um, mean, as far as paid traffic, um, sometimes I'll spend $500 a week or more, sometimes way less. But did I start at that point? No, it's all about starting small and then scaling up. But anyway, so I just focus on getting leads. Um, and then there from getting leads, I answer prospects questions. If they come to me with any questions or, you know, I passively then just pocket the commissions as they start flowing in. Um, and then the other income streams, um, you know, we have now lifestyle, we have ROI panel, we have funnel X advance, we have advertising boost, easy one up. Those are the income streams. Those commissions, David does the selling and telling on every single one of them then those commissions just start flowing in, you know, flowing in. If any of you 
go to the Funnel X members group, you'll, you'll see. We have people every single day just posting the random commissions that, that they're getting. So, so that's all I focus on, just getting leads. Um, the income flows in from all the different sources and answering questions. Um, so, Ontarian, are you ready for me to get to the how, how much I've earned part? <laughs> you so you share some some great nuggets and folks before we get to how much she's earned and you know how much she's earned but she's going to explain it to you hopefully you've taken some notes on what she she said uh, she started with her story and now she then she moved into how she got to where she is now and now she's going to move into her testimony but hopefully you caught the nuggets in between because she shared a lot folks and if you've been in the online marketing game, you're not you're struggling. If you're if you're a newbie, you hopefully you learned something just now because I did. So Kelly, go ahead and take it away on how much you've earned so far. Well, I'm really glad that you guys have enjoyed it so so far and that I can give some some value to you guys because that's really all it is at the end of the day is serving others. That's um, right. and I always say, and Ontarian has said this before, if you can help others then you don't even got to worry. Then the money's going to follow. The income's going to follow. Keep people Absolutely. first. Absolutely. So pretty much the whole culmination of me then getting involved in Funnel X, getting eyeballs on my link, buying traffic, doing my free lead generation, all of that has culminated in I have now made over $20,000 total wow. so far and counting every single day with Funnel X ROI spread through all of the income streams. Um, basically, before I joined Funnel X, I was not having a lot of 500 plus days online. Now that I'm in Funnel X, um, and it's just producing for me, um, pretty much almost every day online that I have is a 500 plus day. Um, mm -hmm. Like for instance, today is October the 23rd. I have made $1,500 today, completely just passively, just you know me running traffic to the system and everything. That's what I've made for today. So twenty thousand dollars in counting with Funnel X. Um, that's coming to to my email, just leads, um, and it's all because I decided to position myself. I invested in myself because I knew it, it would pay off times ten or more. Mm -hmm. um, and then just followed my routine, um, followed the training given by David. Um, so it's really just amazing. I love Funnel X, and we're really just beginning. Um, there's always new updates happening in the system. Um, we have a very involved and active team group. Um, so Funnel X is amazing. It's definitely been the best thing that I have joined um, in 2018. I'm going strong into excuse me. I wasn't too loud. I'm going strong into 2019. Um, yeah. So went went from less to less than $500 a day online to now thousand plus dollar days are not uncommon. All all with mm. Funnel X. That is absolutely amazing, Kelly. Congratulations. That is nothing to sneeze at. And you know what, folks? Uh, Kelly, you're, you're, you're pretty young, too. You say you'll be 27 real soon? Yep. Yep. So, I'm just so glad that I made the decision to change my life while I was still in my 20s so that I can still salvage and enjoy some of my 20s while I have them left. Right. Um, because I definitely saw the writing on the wall. You know, if I didn't make a change now, I was going to go into my 30s and 40s um, solidly into middle age, you know, in the cycle of poverty. And I just made the decision no more, no more. So I want to share with you guys something that's very significant, she said early on. And you remember she said when she dabbled into home-based businesses since she was 18. But you know the paradigm shift that she went through, all she did was turned on the switch. And she said, I'm going to develop myself now. That way I can make this work for me. Did you guys catch what she said? If, if you're not experiencing anything in your business right now, it's, that's because the, you haven't turned the switch on, okay? When you turn that switch on and you say, I'm going to develop my mind first because making money, folks, is a mindset entrepreneurship is a mindset and when you decide to turn that switch on and say i'm going to develop myself i'm going to put the naysayers away i'm going to i'm going to immerse myself with five, with amongst five people or more who are making the income i want to make when you decide to do that 
I guarantee you things will start to shift. Until then, you're on the other side of complaining. You're on the other side of fear. You're on the other side of, oh, what if I lose money? What if this happens? What if this happens? Hey, did you know right now at, your, at a job, there it, your job is conditional. What do I mean by that? Just like she said earlier in her truck driving career, her job was conditional. It's a if and then atmosphere. If you do this, this is going to happen, okay? If you drive the truck, you're going to get paid. If you don't drive the truck, you're going to get fired. If you work your business and you develop your mindset, guess what? you will succeed. It's, it's simple, folks. You just have to dig deep and believe in yourself. And when you do that, just like Kelly's done, young entrepreneur, young, young entrepreneur, who's at, she actually retired before me. I retired around 34, 35. Kelly is retired in her early, she's not even 30 years old yet. And we have a lot more in common than I thought. I, I used to work at a call center and I also drove a truck. I didn't drive a team, but I drove a truck 18 wheeler across the country. So I know I I really I, that's why I was mesmerizing what you would sound like. You did the call center too? I did call center. You did the truck drive? I did truck driver. You see? So you got two people who came from the same background, and all we did was turn the little switch on and say, we're going to immerse ourselves, we're going to develop ourselves, we're going to do this regardless. We don't want to be in poverty. We don't want to be in corporate America the rest of our life. We're going to make this work. So Kelly, that is, I, you know, I'm speechless because I've learned a lot on this, on this particular live today. Yeah, just, just like you were saying, the, the money is out there. Just like what you were saying, the money is there. It's all around you. And if I can do yeah. it, if Ontarian can do it, if countless, countless others you see posting proof all, all over the, the internet can do it, then you can too. It comes down to, just like you said, turning on the switch um, and making a decision. Um, are you going to do it? Are you going to really do it? Or are you going to keep up making the excuses um, and then not do it? Because nothing produces nothing. You know, taking but action and turning on the switch is what's going to completely transform your life. Um, and you're yeah. going to be surprised at what you're actually cap capable of. Because Ontarian, let me ask you this. Um, if you can re rewind your life 10 years ago, mm -hmm. and if you can look in a looking glass and see where you are today, would you have been amazed? Oh, yeah. Oh, most definitely. You know, you rewind it 10 years ago and up to now, I mean, absolutely blown away. You know, it, it, it would it, it would have almost been surreal. Like, it, is this real? Is like you're looking at someone else's life. Right. Like this is, you know, from 10 years ago, my mindset 10 years ago up to now, completely different, completely different. Because I was all about a job. You know, I was all about, hey, you know, I got to do this. I have to, you know, work was all I knew. Nine to five was all I knew. But something, you know, early on in my college career, because I dropped out of college too. That's another thing we got in common. I dropped out of college too. <laughs> college dropout. Proud of it. I wish I would have dropped out sooner, but hey, it is what it is. But, you know, when I was in college, the, I got an epiphany of making money online. I, want, I was dabbling in the, thing, in the things too in my early 20s, you know, trying to find what's the best thing out there to make money. I lost thousands of dollars too, okay? But the, the difference between you and I, Kelly, and, from, and, and the, the difference between you and I and, from, and, and the difference between other people who don't stick and stay is even though we've lost thousands of dollars, even though we've been down and out, we did not quit. That's the, that is the, the ultimate difference between you and I and the rest of the uh, rest of this, uh, the niche and what we, what we do, the entrepreneurship world. We did not give up and we were determined to make it happen. Yes. 100%. That really sums it up in a nutshell. Um, things are always going to seem a lot more harder and complicated in your own head than what it actually is whenever you get started. That's right. Exactly right. So, Kelly, I appreciate you coming on, sister. We had a lot of people to show up here. Um, thank you. Thanks for everyone that's tuning in. Jana, what's going on? William, Sun Lee. So, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully, you got something out of this live video. I'm pretty sure you did. Okay, if you didn't, I don't rewind the tape. That's all I can say. You probably got here late. 
All right, so get back to the person that invited you to this video. This video is probably going to go viral. You probably want to get it in your email. You probably want to see it on YouTube. You probably want to see it in some Facebook groups. I don't know, okay? Just get back to the person that invited you. Get started today in Funnel X. There's no time like the essence. Your job tomorrow is not promised. I don't care what they tell you, okay? It's not promised. There's no such thing as job security anymore and the 401k and all that stuff you know that's going social security that's going to be phased out soon okay just trust me on that start a business become an entrepreneur control your own economy that's the only way to go all right so guys thanks for watching god bless we'll talk to y'all soon